Hardcore YouTube family and welcome back to uh, today's vlog or this weekend's vlog. I don't know yet. Um, I have been thinking about and kind of trying to get back into the flow of things and bring you guys weekly videos again. Um, I know it's a lot, but I'm going to try and I thought to myself, what's the best way to do that? And I figured just picking up the camera and vlogging my weekend or my day, no matter how short or how chaotic it gets, just picking up the, the camera and vlogging. As you can see, because of my decorations, it is still October. By the time you guys see this, it'll probably be November, like the first weekend of November. But that is why I want to do this, because I want to bring you guys some videos and help you guys really get back into the flow of things and bring y'all weekly videos like I did before. So I'm probably going to vlog my weekend and just go the flow. Um, on the agenda for this weekend, we don't really have much to do. Um, we have more things to do. Like I have actual something to do next weekend more and I will be vlogging next weekend. Um, so for this weekend, I have um, tonight the kids have a youth outing, um, they're doing a movie at the church and like they're decorating cupcakes, so I'll probably film a little bit of that. Um, we're also going to go to the Black Bear Festival if we don't have to pay to get in, but I may still go even if we have to pay to get in, just because that's where I got my lovely earrings from that I got a couple weeks, like, uh, I got them last week, but for you guys it was... A while ago but I got my cute earrings from there so I really want to go and see what else we've got um, what else oh yeah we also have this um, local restaurant is doing a candy bar for the kids and like some little activities and stuff so we're gonna go to that as well um, I may also do like a TikTok of what I eat in a weekend for my cheat days or something, just to kind of, I don't know, I get something out, I guess. <laughs> I really, like I said, I just wanted to get anything out because I, I like giving you guys content. I don't know why, like getting to see what I do on a weekend basis or a week to week basis is kind of cool. I know I like watching that stuff, so I figured I might give you guys that. And the camera made me shaky because I am super hyper. Um, I am having a cheat day today. I've been really good on my diet, so I'm rewarding myself with one more day of a cheat day. Um, I'm on Shibboleth, which has now been renamed to something completely different. I don't know the name off the top of my head, but it's being renamed to something new, and... I've been going strong. Uh, I started off in maintenance, which if you don't know the program, in weight loss, you're allowed to have six cheat days. In maintenance, you're allowed to have 12. I started off in maintenance to get my body used to it again. But the way I'm doing it is my first month I'm going into maintenance, but only eating, uh, like having a cheat day for Saturdays and Sundays. I'm allowing myself one, even though it's still under my 12. It's over the eight I allotted myself but I'm rewarding myself for not giving in to temptations not um and I know that kind of defeats the purpose of the diet of what I'm doing right now and it's like Anna you're giving in to temptations by having a cheat day but what I'm talking about is is like I'm rewarding myself for while I'm on my diet not sneaking in things I'm not supposed to have or um once I leave the house going and get a hamburger or something like staying true to my diet during the week when I'm supposed to be on it so I'm rewarding myself because I've been good on my diet and it's okay to reward yourself especially if you're under your allotted cheat days um it's good to reward yourself because that's that's what the whole diet is is being good on it and then getting to reward yourself with a cheat day so this is gonna help me and i know y'all might not 
think it makes sense, but it makes sense to me, I promise. I'm probably just not explaining it correctly. But I'm currently on my first 15 minute break. I'm working 7.30 to 4. That's why I started it at 10 o'clock, which is my first break. Um, my first break was supposed to be at 9.30, but we got so busy because one of our girls is out right now. Um, Jennifer is out at the beach right now. So, me and Morgan are by ourselves right now, which I get it. Like, they held the fort down while I was in Paris, so I cannot even complain about Jennifer needing to take a break. But, um, she honestly deserves it. She, she and her family needed it. So, me and Morgan are holding the fort down right now. That's why I didn't have time to really, like, vlog during work. And I probably won't vlog during work uh, today because we're super, super busy. And I really don't want, like, information getting out. Um, so, I'm going to work my normal shift today. Once I get off, um, Theo and the kids will already be off. I'll probably just go meet up with them. Chill a little bit before we go to the youth outing. Um, maybe get some dinner. I'm super excited for this weekend. Uh, the Black Bear Festival is like the biggest festival in my hometown. And um, I know that sounds so weird, but like I, li I live in a very small town. So this festival is like how local small businesses get their stuff out, how you can get back to the community. Um, so I really enjoy it. So I'm excited. I'm excited to get to vlog and have you guys come along with me. Uh, like I said, it might not be your average weekend vlog, but hey, come along and you might get to see some cool stuff. Who knows? Um, and I definitely will try to get business cards this time and show you business cards because I had somebody reach out to me on TikTok asking where I got my earrings from. They like personally messaged me and I feel bad because I didn't have their business card on me. So, and I don't remember which business card it was, to be honest with you guys. So, like, I'm definitely going to get business cards this time if I buy something. Or if I see something cool and I want to share it with you guys, I'll get their business cards so you guys can check them out. Um, but yeah, I hope this is going to be a fun vlog. I mean, I probably won't vlog Sunday because it will be church and that's pretty much our chill day. Um, but yeah, uh, I should have vlogged it last night, but it was really, really cold. Uh, we had Piper's, one of her last games. She has one more game, but it was like our last technically home game. Because uh, she plays for rec ball. And well, she cheerleads for the football season, but she does rec ball. Um, so, I should have vlogged last night, but I didn't really want time. I wanted to spend time with her and Theo. Uh, Trey was at karate, so he was with his memo. So, we are going to just vlog. I know this is a long intro, but I hope you guys enjoy this vlog that I'm doing. Um, it's just pretty chill, laid back, just what we do in a weekend when we have something to do. I mean, some weekends we don't have anything to do and we just go over the flow. Uh, next weekend, I will be vlogging absolutely because I am going to a Jesse McCartney. Ah! I'm like freaking out. I'm so excited. He's like one of my 90s favorites and I'm so excited. Like y'all don't even know. Jesse McCartney was a staple for us 90s kids and he's starting to bring it back and like younger generations are getting into it again and I'm really excited. So I got good tickets too. Like I got floor tickets for like 90 bucks which is not a bad price at all for concert tickets. I spent more on Jonas Brothers than I did the uh, this, so I definitely got some good tickets. Um, but the kids can't go with us because it is um, in Chattanooga and it's going to be late. Uh, we don't want to keep them past our bedtime, so we've kind of um, my timer cut me off. How rude! <laughs> it's fine, um, but we kind of correlated with their memo and they're gonna stuff their memo that night um which is really cool because i enjoy getting to have these like date nights i call them date nights y'all don't call them date nights i call them date nights because they're moments we get to go out and do something without the kids um but honestly the whole time like we're missing the kids but i don't like taking them to concerts because one it's really really loud and they can't handle it um and two 
he does say some like he says something about butts and I don't want the kids to see that like I don't want them to hear that kind of stuff um just because they're still young and they don't understand that kind of stuff so um yeah I'm excited though and Friday next Friday I am going to my alum night from high school I'm getting to play in the band again so I'll probably be vlogging that for you guys too um probably vlog band practice um my alum night and then I may do like the concert separately so it's not so long of a vlog like break it up um and then we also have some things like next week like a we have a trunk or treat next week and of course Halloween is coming around so you guys know it's going to be an eventful rest of the month uh, I can't believe we're almost to the end of October and then November starts and um that's my kiddo Trey's birthday so we're gonna start planning for that and then Christmas and Thanksgiving this year has gone by so fast it's ridiculous but I'm excited so I hope you guys will enjoy this vlog let's come along with me for the rest of the day I'm gonna head back to work and I will talk to you guys on lunch let's get it I'm gonna take a pause for a second because mom gave me my little boo bag and look at this bag this bag is so adorable and she got me this little keychain it says let's little out of mine i'm gonna let it shine with a little tassel and then i also got this little topper and piper i'll tell you why later because i know you watch my videos you cannot have this i'll tell you why later but i got one of these and then i got a bunch of twix and like some snickers and yeah so i really appreciate it so that's one of our first little Halloween stuff for the day. So yeah. So our lovely lunch today is Paul's Drive-In, which is a local um, mom and pop place. And I'm really excited because I love their food. Their ranch is to die for. Mm. So good. I also got their double cheeseburger which comes with lettuce tomato pickles uh cheese mayonnaise um and all that stuff and usually it comes with coleslaw but i don't like coleslaw so i always sub coleslaw for extra fries so i'm going to oh, look at that burger look at that i don't like pickles and i always forget every time um my m lovely mother went and got this for me but every time she asked for no pickles for me because I forgot. And there's no pickles on here, I think. Let me make sure. Yep, there's no pickles. She knows me so well. What I like to do is I like to get a good grip on the burger. Take some of their ranch and just spread a couple bits right here. Like that. And just go in on it. that hits the spot oh i'm gonna enjoy my lunch and i'll see you guys when i get off got piper's cookie that she made all by herself green icing green icing orange icing and then sprinkles then goes, this is this is the two eyeballs balls and that's the nose uh-huh and then trey got his Look at it. Mine has a smile. I have a smile. And I'm about to have some wrinkles. And a gorgeous. Do you need any more green or you got it? I got it. You don't need no more. You don't need no more. Come in. So look at mine. I'm adding a little bit more green, like a scary look. What can we eat them? Oh, I like the technique. That's what Sissy did. Didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Never mind. What's the thing? Look, the 
past is behind us, right? Tomorrow's going to be a new day. <laughs> we had popcorn, cupcakes, candy, pizza. Now we're watching Chicken Little. <laughs> So I just got out of the shower and I need to kind of put all my medicine together for the next kind of week. Um, so while I do this, I'm going to talk to you guys. I didn't film a lot at our youth outing because I um, didn't want to show off people really, like, like the kids and stuff. So I just pretty much filmed like the table and the movie uh, but we had pizza we had some candy popcorn chips drinks cupcakes for the kids they got to decorate some cookies uh, which was really nice uh, I know the kids enjoyed that um, I did go and I got me a chocolate frosty from Wendy's because if you don't like Wendy's frosties you're living on a rock I probably have to go and get my nails done tomorrow because my nail right here is bending we went to this place up near my sister's house um in tennessee and i don't know if like they're ex as experienced or not but uh, my sister's nails my nails my mom's nails have all been kind of lifting or getting peeled off or like basically falling off um, and so, like, we're a little bit upset about it, but it's whatever. Um, but I am going to probably go get my nails done tomorrow to kind of get them fixed. I may go ahead and get, like, some Christmassy or, like, Thanksgiving because it's not even the end of October, so like by the time I get my nails done again, they'll last me until maybe December or such. So I may go get like Thanksgiving nails or Christmas, I don't know yet. I haven't fully decided, but if I do, I will vlog that experience. So, and if anybody asks what I take, I do take anxiety. Um, depression, high blood pressure, um, and some medicine for my PCOS. Um, yes, I have anxiety. I do have depression. Like, I'm a normal person. Everybody kind of forgets, like, I'm normal too. Normal people have, you know, depression and anxiety. Some need help, some don't. Uh, if you can handle it on your own, like, more power to you. Like, that's amazing. I wish I had that. I can't. So, I do have medicine that helps. But, I like to be transparent with you guys and real with you. Why do I have two anxiety? In that one. Did I do that with anything else? Yeah, I did that with Sundays. Why do I have two in here? Sorry. I think I made like a small little mistake, but I'm checking my work. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're good. And then this is tomorrow's. Okay. But. How? See? Yeah, I just like ripped it even more. I'm definitely going to have to go get my nails done tomorrow. Because, like, look. It shouldn't be doing that. I'm going to have to go get my nails done tomorrow. And it's like, you know, if and or but about it. I'm going to have to. So. I think what I'm going to do is typically to keep the nail in place and not bend or move, I'm going to put a band-aid around it. This just ensures that the nail doesn't move um, and like break off during the night. So let me go grab a band-aid. This cool little like travel case um, that I keep band-aids in. And I'm just going to keep like a small little one on it. Like I said, this is just going to ensure 
that the nail doesn't move while I'm sleeping. And I know, like, I don't know if anybody's ever thought of this, but, like, see, it's not going to move now. It's secure. So, like, I can do this, and it's not going to move. And that way, my nail stays intact, and I can go get it, like, my actual nail. Because these are my actual nails. These are not, like, acrylic or press-on. These are my real nails with dip powder. Um, no fake nail underneath it to give the illusion of a long nail. It's my real nail. I keep it like that for a reason. Um, so, I don't want the nail, the actual, like, real nail to break. So, that's why I'm putting a band-aid on it so the real nail stays intact so I don't break it before tomorrow. I'll probably go super early in the morning. Um, I don't know what time my nail place opens. But I'm just going to go get my fingers done. I'm not going to get my toes done. Because my toes still look amazing from, wait, let me see if I can show you. My toes still look amazing from when I got them. So, I'm just worried about my fingers. So, I'm going to go get my fingers done and get a new color. By the way, I also went and folded. So, that I, I didn't show that because you can't take your video. You can't, <laughs> la, 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 la. This is also unedited. You can't take your uh phone into the voting so i didn't take my phone but i did vote um i also i came home took a shower took my medicine and i'm actually about to go to bed um it's been a long night we watched chicken little which i haven't watched that in forever it seems so whew, scary i know the lighting's terrible right now let me get to my light but we watched chicken little it was really nice I haven't watched that movie in forever, it seems. It is now currently 10... Sorry. Excuse me. It is now 10.30. I am going to go to bed. I am going to try to wake up, see what time my nail place opens, or any nail place open, like, as early as possible to get this fixed. My kiddo Piper is going to be mad at me, but it's an emergency, and I love her, but she's going to have to understand. So... I'm going to sign off for the night, not the whole vlog, because I'm vlogging a weekend. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Um, it is Saturday. I'm freezing. Um, because it's starting to get winter. And I can tell in my voice that it's affecting me. Um, and my nose is running. Um, but, oh, I got a napkin. Okay. But I'm heading to go get Piper right now because last night, unexpectedly, I'm trying to see through my window. There we go. Um, my nail started breaking, and so I decided I'm gonna have to go to the nail salon today. And so tired i didn't sleep that well um if y'all don't know and like this is probably gonna be going up in november uh but i'm filming it in october so y'all can have content um i may post it during this week but i don't like i may post it extra i don't know yet but um if y'all don't know um one Direction, I'm like a huge fan of them, and unfortunately, um, Liam Payne did pass away. Um, very tragic, and my heart is broken about it. Um, and the story behind it is let me. things are like hard. Is that going to help? Maybe. Okay. Um, it's going to bother my head, but it's fine. Yeah, that, that worked. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Um, 
um, One Direction meant a lot to me. And the reason why they meant a lot to me is because when I was, it was like 2010, I had lost my grandfather, who was a big influence in my life. He was my best friend. He was my role model. He was what I pictured for a man in my life. Um, the way he treated my grandmother, the way he treated other people. Um, he was this like fairy tale prince and he is what I based like my relationships off. Like I want a man who's like my grandfather and he meant the absolute world to me. And um, in 2009, I lost my grandfather and I was going through a really rough patch. Um, I was in the sixth grade, so this was around sixth grade, seventh grade. Um, I was like 11. I was 10 when he passed away, but like it had been a year and I was taking it rough. And um, I tried to unalive myself. Um, I am a survivor. Um, and what really got me through that is I texted my best friend and um, my best friend Haley and I told her like hey you deserve to know what's going on um you're my best friend I love you and I hope to see you one day and she said before you do just listen to this song and if you still feel like you're going to then at least let me come and be with you and I said okay so I opened the link, and this was like early 2000s, so it was like a flip phone, and I had to like copy the link into my little computer on YouTube, and it was What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction. Um, instantaneously, like I felt like I didn't need to anymore. I felt loved. I felt seen. <laughs> Sorry. I instantly like fell in love with this band. They became my whole world. Um, like I became obsessed. I'm trying not to cry if you can tell. But um, I became obsessed with them. I wanted to know everything about them. Have the tattoo of a semicolon. If you guys don't know, it means you're a survivor. You could have ended your sentence, but you continued. Um, and so, from that day on, like I've been 100% their fans. And so, like, it hurts to know that one of my favorites is no longer here. And, uh, upsets me but I'm trying to get through it I've been thinking about getting a tattoo in honor I got of course I have the semicolon um like of course I have the semicolon but I want to get like that's what makes you beautiful right here with it as if like I'm continuing the lyrics so like it's gonna go into it because that's the song that saved me and then like that's what makes you beautiful I don't know Y'all tell me. But back onto the nails. Um, my nail broke. We're going to go get my nails done. My kiddo Piper's going to go with me. So come along with us. <laughs> So our little haul that we got, um, I got some things. I got some little um, cute little 3D printed stuff. Me and Piper both got a little hedgehog. Yeah. There's your hedgehog. Thank you, Anna. Mm -hmm. I got a little spider with a strawberry butt. Um, Trey got a little tugboat. Um, and then I got this pack. 
from a nice kind of lady that was giving them out. Pokemon, and I got a little bat, and I got something for my niece, but I'm going to show you. I also got these really cute dragon purple earrings, giving Easter vibes. Then I got this little duckling. Y'all can scan the barcode code if y'all want the barcode. And then we also got a s'more kit. Yeah, we both did, so. Yeah. I mean, and so much you got while so I'm doing this. I got a little dragon. Then I got some, a little stamp and a flower. I got, I got this little thing because my grandfather loved John Deere, so this reminded me of him. So, then I, this are the Pokemon cards I got. I also got a sticker. Then I got this little stamp and just like lace, lace to it. The earrings was from Rainbow Rasp, uh, Rhapsody Boutique, if you guys want to look them up. And then the little 3D printed uh, were from them, so you can look them up and order your yeah, own. I got a pink light bulb. Oh, it's really cool. That is cool. I'm jealous. And then we might, me and Anna might can share it. So no, you have it, sweetheart. And then I also got freeze dried Skittles. Then that, the Don Don Jude thing. I, oh, yeah, yeah, I got one of those. Then I got this chapstick. I will open it. Uh, and Theo got a hat that says Top Dad. And then I got a bunch of free stuff from like other little yeah. vendors, like some sunglasses, yeah. like a bag full of free stuff. Oh, oh no. I'm sorry. Oh no. What was that? I don't know. I don't know. But the it went to the abyss. The chapstick. Uh -uh. Alright, put that stuff back in your bag, baby. See, I got a lot more stuff, even bubbles. Yeah, we got, they got a bunch of free stuff. So that was our haul. Got a lot of uh, compliments about our earrings. So now we're going to go get the kids ready for the candy bar and then we're gonna head over there so we'll see you in a second we went to the candy bar the kids loaded up on some candy and so did me and Theo um, I also wind up taking a little trip to Hobby Lobby um, I didn't show any of that because I was really trying to figure out what I needed but I bought some clay because um, I'm gonna try to start working on my own like clay earrings so now we're basically just gonna go and watch the Georgia versus Texas game and probably eat some pizza so I'll show you some more of that as we go along, but yeah, I mean, y'all are, I mean, this is pretty much a chill weekend. I mean, we're really not doing much, much, but you still get to come along with me and see what I do in a weekend. I hope it's entertaining, <laughs> but yeah. All right, I'll see y'all in a second. Okay, so I did leave Theo's house a little bit early. Um, my hip is giving me a lot of issues. If you guys don't remember or don't know, I did get in a car accident back in, um, I'm gonna turn this on off while I've got some good lighting going on, but, um, I did have a wreck on Mother's Day, um, May 2024, and, um, it kind of pushed my hip out of alignment, and because of that, um, I've been having hip problems, and just basically it's been in a lot of pain and um, so my hip was kind of hurting so I told Theo and the kids good night and I'm heading home now I'm gonna stop at uh, one of our local Mexican restaurants and I'm gonna get um, 
my normal which is an enchilada supremas uh, with no red sauce substitute for cheese sauce sorry for the bad quality um here we go uh, but i typically get enchilada supremas with no red sauce sub substitute for white sauce or cheese sauce um and so I'm going to go and stop and get that so I can take it home and eat it and then um, take a shower and maybe watch a movie or two before I hop to bed. It's currently 9.21 so I may just like lay down while watching a movie just to kind of rest my head and um, get myself to sleep. But I'm not 100% sure. I might just crawl on TikTok for a little bit. Who knows? But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, basically rest the rest of the night, like I said, because my hip is hurting. Um, I don't want to strain it too much. Um, but yeah, these are real life problems. You know, I have, I also have, like, back problems from where I carried a bass drum back in high school, uh, marching band. So, like, now I have back problems, and because of my right now, I have hip problems. So, um, yeah, I mean, real, real life problems I have. But I'm gonna go and get some food and then I will let y'all know. Like, I'll show you what I get, of course, once I get it. But I'm heading there now to get it. Then I'm going to get home and take a shower. And I'll update y'all probably around that time. Okay. Alright, I'll see y'all in a bit. Okay, so I've got Angela Supremas from El Pub. Heated it up because I took a shower first and I needed that. Hair day, hair washing days tomorrow. Uh, I needed a hot shower and it felt amazing. But uncut. That's how y'all know I'm doing this uncut. But I've got my Enchilada Supreme. I like to mix it all together. So I get chicken, beef, cheese, beans. I've got some chips. I got a nice crisp Coke. I'm going to sit here and watch some TV or movie. I think I'm going to watch Big Brother because I've been watching reruns of Big Brother. Because that's what me and my aunt used to watch as the summer was ending. And I know it's fall, but I didn't get to do it this year. But I like to do it every, like, end of summer to kind of reminisce about her. Because um, that was what we watched together uh, during the summer. So, I think I'm going to finish watching some Big Brother. And I will catch up with y'all when I'm done eating. And, yeah. Alright, it's currently 11.01. I was talking with mom and showing her the things I got from the festival. Ate my dinner and took my medicine. So I am now officially starting off for the night. I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning for church. Hello, people. Good morning on this fine Sunday morning. Um, I'm currently heading to Hardee's and McDonald's to pick up uh, something small for us for breakfast because today is my church's founder's day so they usually always have like a lunch um i may try to stop as well and get like a small dish um i'm not for sure i have to look at my bank account uh, just to make sure i've got enough
at this Hardee's entrance. Um, it's almost nine. So by the time I get to the kids, um, they'll have to eat and then we'll have to get them ready and go to church for Sunday school, which is at 10. I still have to change because my dress was in the car. I forgot it was in here. So my dress is in the car, so I'm going to change into that at Theo's house and after I eat, of course. And yeah, so I mean, I woke up a little bit late. I woke up and I laid in bed scrolling through TikTok. And I should have done that. I should have gotten up. But I didn't sleep well. And I had like this really weird nightmare. Um, so, yeah. We'll grab the food. And then, yeah, I'll show you guys. More in sick. salad they don't have potato salad without pickles and if you guys know I do not like potato salad with pickles like I hate it so I think I'm just gonna pick up some of the sugar cookies I love and go from there so yeah your phone number and press shopping with us. Secure the goods. So now to head to Theo's house so we can eat and go to church. <laughs> family last night um i lined up getting a little bit sick uh we went to a friend's house and had dinner um i'm not for sure if it was like the powerade because i had chugged the powerade um because i was really really thirsty and um was feeling a little bit woozy so i, I chugged the powerade um i think it may have made me sick and um, I wound up throwing up after we left our friend's house. So it didn't really feel good. I came home, took a shower, went to bed. Um, so I didn't end the vlog. So I figured I'd end it this morning before I go into work. Um, but yeah, I just, I did not feel good last night. I feel a lot better this morning. Uh, so that's a plus. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the weekend vlog. If you did, please let me know. Hit the thumbs up button so I know that you liked it. Um, I will be vlogging this weekend because I will be going to my alumni game and also to the um, also to the Jesse McCartney concert. Um, so yeah, 
if you guys liked it please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below and that bell, uh, the bell icon so it notifies you whenever I upload my next video and as always guys be true be you I'll see you in the next video <laughs> bye bye